here's a boom box that's a bit of a step away from fully loaded. Um, but it's pretty close. This is the Hamilton Buell model. This is the one I think that has the crazy long model number. Yes, this is the Hamilton Buell model MPC-5050+. Which that's going to be fun to remember. Um, but yeah, this thing has almost everything you need on a boombox. It doesn't have aux in or USB. I mean, I mean not USB, um, SD. So it doesn't have SD or aux in, but it does have a CD, cassette, AM, FM tuner, and USB. It doesn't have a wetter band, but I don't think there's many boomboxes that have a wetter band, so yeah. Um... And this thing, it sounds like crap. This is a school boom box, so this was something that was marketed towards schools and probably paid for with government money or whatever. Um, probably a lot of schools here in, in the States have these. Um, this thing came from Florida, so I'm not really sure which school district this was in. But it did come from Florida. The cassette player works on it. Um, I'll show that to you. I don't have a, I don't have a tape right now. Well... That works. Fast forward, rewind, and stop. Um, the CD player, when I originally got it, it was skipping. This is the original player. I don't even know. I don't I even think I bothered cleaning with it because it was kind of having a really weird problem I've never seen before with a CD player. It had an issue here where the top broke off. The previous owner uh, attempted to glue it on for a bit of, um, a bit of glue. So... That's, um, that's been fixed. There's a headphone jack on the top, and then on the back of the unit, there's a total of an extra six headphone jacks. So this thing has a total of seven headphone jacks. The purpose of this is being that this was for schools. You could be in your school library, and you could have an audio book, um, and listen to the audio book. Um, have multiple people listen to the audio book at once, which is kind of a cool feature. Um... And I think because of all of, the, all of these, it, the amplifier in this is quite beefy. This thing is really heavy. Um, it doesn't have batteries in here, but it feels like it. Um, but this is probably this is probably the heaviest boombox of this size. I have that Emerson up there is a bit bigger than this, and it weighs less than this. And I actually I have some higher end Sony and Philips boomboxes that are a lot bigger than this and weigh about the same, maybe a bit less. So. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy, but we have a disc on it. It has CD disc controls here on the front for the USB. The USB slot is right under here, so I don't, I don't have a flash drive with music on it, so I can't really test that, but I do have the remote. The remote only does the CD and USB functions, which is kind of a gimmick, but I personally think if this was used in the classroom and you're a teacher and you have this on the other side of the room and you're talking about... Uh, you want to pause the audiobook to talk about um, some foreshadowing or a lesson in the audiobook or, mu or your music teacher doing something like that. Having a remote that's capable of just doing the, um, the CD functions might be a good idea. Might be a bit better if you had volume control on here, um, but it is an analog volume knob. It has an analog tuner on it, so there's not really much to it. So um, just press play and see what happens. And the remote's very finicky. Oh, this new crazy mother. Something that's interesting about this is with the controls on this, if you press the back, it doesn't skip to the beginning of the song, it just plays the song that was previously on the track. And it does this on the boombox as well. The buttons are very touchy.
There's not much of a bass boost, but it does it it, it does exist. So in terms of controls on this, you have your band selector back here, and your function selector is all the way on the back. That's one of the things I don't like about this. I was actually going to use this boombox out here in the garage with my JVC since the CD and cassette player on this is uh, doesn't really work. Um, but this Emerson is actually still more convenient to, to use because its control is on the its power control is right up here on the top as a slide switch. I have a, I actually made a video of this boombox not so long ago, so I recommend checking it out. Um, but, yeah. Have you ever felt Are you listening? And the bass is very lackluster. Here's a bassy song. Uh. Yeah. The speakers do move a little uh. bit. Uh. Yeah. And these only, this thing appears to only have like two and a half inch speakers. It's really small. Um, I have a feel that Emerson sounds way better than this, uh, and the Emerson's a budget boombox. You would expect a school boombox to be higher quality, being that it's in a school. Um, but this has got to be like a lower tier boombox, like a Caliphone Spirit, which is like Caliphone's lowest end school boombox that was made around the same time as this. They work a lot better than these, um, and then they have their Performer and Performer Plus uh, models above those. And those things are really nice. I would, I hope to get one of those sometime in the future alongside a Lakeshore boombox, which is another school boombox. I might make a video of the Caliphone at some point in time. I'm currently using it in my kitchen. It's one of my favorites. Um, let's do a band scan, because people like the band scans. And we're just going to do AM first. It think it has an internal. The antenna is really short for what this is, too. Oh. So that doesn't even go all the way down. Weird. So the tuner on this is messed up. Maybe when I had this thing apart to work on it, I messed up the tuner, so I'm gonna have to probably take this apart once again and mess with this again. I guess with this messed up tuner, this might be the new garage radio then. Um, if it didn't have a backlight that stayed on all the time, I would say this would be a good contender. But, whatever. We'll figure it out. But yeah, here's the Hamilton Beale 
it's a thing it exists it's a nugget you know like it i guess so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day